The message you're about to listen to is brought to you by the Enthronement House Christian Center, a church with a mandate to activate and actualize God's royalty in you. Fasten your seatbelt, get ready for a ride as God's servant brings you the anointed word of God that will change your life forever. And now, the ministry of the senior pastor, Enthronement Assembly, Reverend Deji Olabo. Verse 1 and 2. Then Elisha said, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Tomorrow about this time. Can I prophesy to somebody? Tomorrow about this time. <laughs> I didn't come to teach. This seven Sunday I came to prophesy. Hear the word of the Lord. Tomorrow about this time now somebody is about to get what I call a tomorrow about this time miracle somebody say tomorrow about this time <laughs> you see God there's something Bishop Robo shared with me the upper week, I, I went to spend with him, serve, you know, just serving him and learning from him. And also sowing into him. He said, that your prophet determines your moments. Your moments. That the prophet speaks to your moment. Let me explain. You see, one of the signs of the prophetic the, one of the assignments of the prophetic is to attach time to whatever is supposed to happen to you. God can have a word over your life, but it can be indefinite. But it is the responsibility of the prophet to attach time to the happenings of your life. So can I speak to you that it is your moment? And that many of you, after the seven day Sundays, you would express what I call tomorrow about this time miracle. Let, let me explain tomorrow about this time miracle. It is waking up one way and sleeping another. Are you there? overnight? Just wondering that. Ha, ha. No, it's happening to us. You, you. I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus. I said you will wake up one way. <laughs> And you will sleep on another level. <laughs> One of my daughters just got married. And I was like, what did the missus none here? It doesn't take long. All it takes is a prophetic word. And I came here to declare that what you've been waiting on, waiting for, praying for, in the name of Jesus, within the seven Sundays, are you there? You're stepping into your moment. You're stepping into your season. You're stepping into your hour. You're stepping into your time. The wait is over. Somebody shout tomorrow about this time. Sit down briefly. Let me try and teach. Tomorrow. <laughs> about this time. A seer of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel ah, and two seers of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria can I prophesy in the name of Jesus there shall be a price crash you didn't hear what I said there are, you've been trying to buy that property. You've been trying to buy that car. You've been trying to buy that house. You've been trying to buy that thing. You've been trying to buy it. I prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus, there shall be a price crash. You didn't hear what I said. I said there shall be a price crash. In the name of Jesus. Can I prophesy you will be able to afford it? Miracles of affordability. Miracles of affordability. Let me explain. 
please, I didn't come to teach. You know I'm a teacher. Please, if you're a member, you know I'm a teacher. Can I just stay on the prophetic frequency? You know I'm a teacher. We don't necessarily pay the same prices in life. If you know a market, a guy can be driving a Bugatti and that Bugatti, <laughs> he paid three million for it because of a prophetic involvement. One of my sons bought one black Benz car. I don't know how much he bought it. Ridiculous car. Ridiculous in its price. So, when we're talking about miracles of affordability, one of the signs of the prophet, number one, it attaches date, date. Look, I attach date to your conception. I attach a date to your marriage. I attach a date. I attach a date. I attach a date to your traveling out. I attach a date. I attach a date to our departure from Necker House. I attach a date. Whatever has been looking for in the name of Jesus by virtue of the prophetic toga on my life. Now, let me attach the date. The date I attach to it is it won't be long now. You didn't hear what I said. I said the date that I attach to it is that it won't be long now. Let me sing it in your ear. It won't be long. You're about to travel out. It won't be long. Your baby will come. It won't be long. now. The SEPTA Convention Center will be a reality. It won't be long. You will be driving to church. It won't be long. You will move from 10 million to 100 million. It won't be long. It won't be long now. It won't be long now. It won't be long now. So the prophet attaches, number one, time to it. Number two is prophets have the capacity to crash the price. And what I'm seeing in this season, look, you will see ownership on a ridiculous level. <laughs> they will say, ah, you just got a land in Lekki. Then they will say, how much did you pay? What I see in my spirit, you will not be able to mention the price. Because it's going to come at a ridiculously cheap. Lay hands on your head. Somebody shout ridiculously cheap. No, you didn't say well. Ridiculously cheap. Ridiculously cheap. Now, when I mention something, you will say ridiculously cheap. Lands. Houses. Properties. Husbands. In this season, by the grace of God, you will step into that realm where things will be ridiculously cheap. Can I leave a word over the elders of this church? Are you getting what I'm saying here? I'm looking at the Sector Convention Center. All of the properties round about us, write this down, will come in for us ridiculously cheap. Ridiculous. Balenon Eketea. There are some of you who already have some properties. You have bought some properties. Now get ready. Get ready. You are about to acquire more. 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 You have two cars. You are about to acquire more. You have a house. You are about to acquire more. You have some things, but you are about to acquire more. Let me tell you what God is going to do. Forgive me for just prophesying. Look, just join me online. I'll teach. Let me tell you what I'm. Let me just prophesy what I'm seeing in my spirit. I see the owners of the things around you getting into trouble. You have never seen trouble. There's a kind of trouble that will make you sell a one billion naira land at 100 million. You see, the price is relative to the challenges that the owner is having. Now, every 
everybody who presently owns something that belongs to you I step into my prophetic office and I release challenges into their life challenges that will make them hand it over I said they will give you in a hurry they will release it in a hurry get ready to buy cars get ready to buy lands get ready to buy them let me tell you what I see in my spirit I see challenges challenges you not have any challenges challenges that will make them release it make them release it lay hands on your head I declare a spirit of release a spirit of release upon every leader every partner of the entrapment assembly I release a spirit of release I see another thing here. My God is, I'm looking at the hand right now, and I see my God losing the loins of kings. Losing them to release to you. What is yours in the name of the Lord Jesus? What is yours in the name of the Lord Jesus? What is yours in the name of the Lord Jesus? What is yours in the name of Jesus? My God is losing their loins. Sit down, brief. Let me try. By this time, it will be affordable. It will be affordable. God will give them a challenge that will make them give it to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, what am I seeing in my spirit? I'm seeing F R R E E. Who does it belong to? I'm seeing F R E E. R E E in my spirit I'm seeing it right now I see F which family am I looking at I see R which family am I looking at I'm seeing E and I'm seeing another E free 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 Free. now I've spoken to a set of people there's another set of people they are not satisfied with cheap <laughs> I just saw another group of people they are not satisfied with cheap because free is better than cheap <laughs> free is better and from an assembly over this church I announce a, a season of free Free, 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 free. In the name of Jesus, I know you like work, but I am seeing free. I'm seeing a measure of breakthroughs, a measure of increase, a measure of glory that you can't trace to any of your effort. The Holy Ghost, you will not be able to trace it to your effort. You will not be able to trace it to your effort. You will not be able to trace it to your strategy. You will not be able to trace it to your effort. I'm seeing free. I'm seeing free. I'm seeing free. Free is better than cheap. Free is better than cheap. Free cars, free lands, free vacations, free visa, free, free, free. All expense paid. I'm seeing free. I'm seeing free. I'm seeing free. Free properties. Alole. Alole le gede gede. Elori ale karagalagada. Endosi ale shaga. Number five. Stand there. Just keep standing. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll be able to teach. Ejen son kontimungbo. Let me tell you what I'm hearing. I'm hearing number five. I'm hearing number five. Listen to me. The other one I saw free. I don't know who it belongs to, but somebody has gotten it. <laughs> I'm here to divide inheritances. I don't want anything from you. I'm here to divide. Now, let me tell you number five what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the, this first. I, no, no, no. I saw free. This one, I'm hearing it. I am hearing for another group of people here. If you like it, you can have it. That's what I'm hearing. Now let me ask you a question. Do you like it? 
you can have it. No, no, you didn't get what I said. I said, do you like it? Do you like it? You can have it. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Before the seven days, the seven Sundays are over. In the name of Jesus, my God will plant kings and queens in your life. Who will say, do you like it? You can have it. 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 Do you like it? Do you like it? You can have it. Do you like that car? You can have it. Do you like that man? You can have it. Do you like that woman? You can have her. Do you like it? You can have it. Do you like it? You can have it. Tell somebody I like it. And I will have it. You didn't say where. Say I like it. And I will have it. See, let's stop. Be, see, stop believing in struggle. Stop believing. Some of, us, some of us, we don't struggle. We, we like struggle. Believe in struggle. I say to you, if you like it, you can have it. Now, let me explain to you how it will happen. Because I'm, what I'm seeing now, I'm hearing and he's explaining. What God will do for you is that in these seven Sundays, this season as we round up the year, <laughs> Now, by the way, you are going into 2023 in a blast. <laughs> you are going in a blast. You are not going to go empty. You are going in a blast. <laughs> and Trumpet Assembly will go with a blast. You are going with a bang. But let me tell you what I saw. If I, if I, say, if I like it, I can have it. That, that's what I heard. Now, 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 but what's going to happen? This is, this. To understand that, mommy, the same thing does not mean everything to the same person. So all it takes for you to have something substantial is for something you like to mean nothing to someone that likes you. Am I in the right church? Let me give you an example. One of my sons gave me a particular shoe. And at this level of my life, I don't have time for stress. Ask my wife, me Uraya is stressed. Toba stress me one bit more abandon it. Why should they stress me? Why could they stress me? My wife knows. <laughs> Anything that stress me like this. One, two, mm, I don't move. I can't entertain any stress on my on my except on my job. So my so one of my sons give me a particular. So now everything around me, I only pick things that don't stress me. Shoes that don't stress me. Food that don't stress me. If you give me meat and I can chew before the thing is chewed, I don't. I don't. I won't change my mood. Though. I can give her one million. Thank you for the meat, but no stress. No stress. The priest shall not clothe himself with anything that causes sweat. I don't know about you here. My God will not stress you. In this season, nothing will stress you. My God will remove stress from your space. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So they got me one shoe like that. When I entered the shoe, one of my sons. Mr. Church got me that shoe. I entered the shoe. Ah, the shoe was succulent. Oh, I'm like, wow. My wife said, This is the shoe. And I was going around the shoe. I said, And me, I don't have time. My wife knows if you give me something today, I will launch it today. Ask my wife. I don't go see the baby. There are one billion shoes. I'll be keeping one shoe for the devil. What concerns me about that? Once it comes in, ask my wife. Ask her if it comes in today, it's called an abundance mentality. Don't concern me about it. I'm going to keep shoe. Some people that there's some people here. I won't mention names. Oh, now wardrobe they wear their best clothes. Wardrobe, <laughs> and when the wardrobe is tired of wearing it, they will now sit down and send some ants that look this thing. We start eating it. Then they now bring it out. Jayuri, enjoy your life. How can I prophesy? Somebody that will enjoy life as this. <laughs> Tell somebody I will enjoy my life. I'm serving God. I will enjoy my life. Serving God. I will enjoy my life. I'm serving God. If they obey and serve me, they will live their days in prosperity. Their years. In. See, I will enjoy my life. So, I got the shoe. My son, that shoe you sent me. I got the shoe. I liked it. So, I was going. The, and I said, but these are the kind of shoes that Ola Modesi will like. I was telling my wife. Ola Modi likes. She likes eclectic things eclectic that's how my daughter is my wife now said you, do you know what happened my wife said when your daughter came back you know your children the moment she came back she went straight to this what and she started wearing it around now a day later this is the issue they gave me less than 24 hours 
I now had worn my shoe back. She now said, Dad, I said, Yes, those your shoes are they, they, they are how does she how does she call it? Say? Is it drip? She has all those. That would be a drip. She was like, I said, You like it? My wife, no, my wife had warned me that you must not give it to her. You must not. <laughs> my God, everybody that does not want you to have what you like. <laughs> my God will silence them. As I was coming down from the study, Mazo Taylor, Lego, Emiti Badura, she saw me, Daddy, your drip. I said, You like it? She said, Yes, you can have it instantly. She entered it. I went to her mommy. Hey! She went to do guy in front of her mommy. Mommy said, Daddy has given me. My daddy has given me. Who heard what I said here? Can I hear you say, My daddy has given me? I didn't hear you. My daddy has given me. I didn't hear you. My daddy has given me. I didn't hear you. My daddy has given me. This husband, my daddy has given me. This baby, my daddy has given me. The scepter convention center, my daddy has given me. That international placement, my daddy has given me. Your work in BBC, my daddy has given me. My daddy has given me. I want you to go to seven people, prophesy, my daddy has given me. I like it, my daddy has given me. My daddy has given me. My daddy has given me the baby. My daddy has given me the job. My daddy has given me the race. My daddy has given me the house. My daddy has given me. My daddy has given me. My daddy has given me. Hello, Ole Kendege. Somebody shout. Give him praise. My daddy has given me. Can I say some things? You know, I let me tell you, I like Bogai when I'm around my enemies. You don't know me. I like Bogai when I'm around my enemies. When I'm around my enemies, I don't preach, I share testimonies. Timbawa Lani Ota, you can preach. Bookman share testimony. Back on my drop figures. You know, come for me 15 million. You know, come for me 14 million. Maybe you're running a body. So I know my being won't see. But as they pain them, it they sweet us. As they sweet us, it they pain. As they pain them, it they sweet us. As they sweet us, is my daddy has given me. My daddy has given me. My daddy has given me. My daddy has given me money more lower. My daddy has given me money more lola. My daddy has given me money more anointing. My daddy has given me. My daddy has given me in these seven weeks. Sons and daughters, let me ask you a question. If I'm your daddy here, raise your hand. Let me see. If I'm your daddy, eh? I'm your daddy. Your spiritual daddy. Oh yeah, I give you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I give you, I give you, I give you mantles, I give you authority, I give you blessings, I give you riches, I give you honor, I give you glory, I give you wealth, I give you power, I give you grace, I give you blessings, I give you increase, I give you. Somebody say, my daddy has given me. Let me share a story with you. Many years ago, let me, that's why you must have a daddy. <laughs> you must have a daddy. <laughs> Many people think that this church now, all we are doing is because I'm more spiritual. No, I just have daddies. I, a Boda is my daddy. Komaya is my daddy. Adeboye is my daddy. Oyedeko is my daddy. Adefaras is my daddy. My daddy has given me. Who is your daddy? Who be your daddy? Who be your daddy? Oh, you know, get daddy. Daddy has given me. Let me share this with you. One many years ago, I was in a particular city. I had a young couple. Please, I'm prophesying. Hope you know I'm not joking. No, I'm not joking. No. As I'm saying it, it will be happening, sir. In the name of Jesus. As I'm, I said, as I'm saying it, sir, it will be happening. Now, many years ago. I went to preach my son in a city and I went to that city when I went to that city I had a pastor in that city the pastor didn't even show up 
another outsider who was not in the rank he was not even in the line of succession he was not in the line you know there are people that are not in the line of succession let me explain if you don't honor it you can't have it that's the law if you don't honor it you can't have it if you don't honor it and you pray for it you can't have it you're not in the line of succession so there was somebody and then even when it comes to line of succession there are rankings when you study english and all that the english monarchy they will say some things somebody's in line of succession somebody's not in line of succession there's a way you behave you are no longer in line of succession there's a way you behave that you maintain there's a way you behave there's a way somebody will misbehave that will make you ascend in the line of succession let me prophesy again whoever needs to misbehave whoever's name is Vashti that needs to misbehave for Esther's star to shine let your Vashti misbehave now so there was some young man please forgive me God has told me to prophesy God has, there is time for teaching the time for prophecy now there was this now young man who said he was not in the line of succession he just called me daddy around. who told you he said don't worry about who told me I heard you around the person that was my man there did not say anything if you don't listen if you lack honor instinct you can never be great if, you, if I see a person you lack honor instinct so he said I said who told you he said don't worry about who told me daddy I have made arrangement for your hotel I have made arrangement for your hotel I have made arrangement for your feeding and he had lodged me in the penthouse of one place there I don't even know the name of the place penthouse now let me share a secret with you how we pastors pray for those that lodge us in penthouse is different from how we pray for those that lodge us in boys quarters penthouse anointing is different please and don't be saying I'm saying rubbish it was the penthouse that that woman gave to Elisha Pent, someone say, penthouse anointing when you understand that mystery now when you understand the mystery of putting your man of God in the penthouse there are things you don't want that will happen automatically she said I don't have faith for it she said, it doesn't matter if you have faith by this time next year it is yours penthouse anointing penthouse anointing now this guy had gotten everywhere set ha the bed was like big Ask my wife, big. We slept on that bed. When I was going, I said, knee down here. You know when the man of God tells you knee down here, he has been touched. Ah, he has been touched. Like I did for that young man. Uh, what's his name? Is it is he what's that man? MCD. Bada in the night. You know what? The wife had a dream. He said, In the dream, the wife said she saw me in that dream. And in that dream, I said to her in that dream wealth is a gift and this wife you marry a good wife that can hear God and she said in that dream do you know this person I was talking to her in the dream do you know this person she said yes I gave him she said I was telling her in the dream do you know that person she said yes I gave her and I said to her wealth is a gift today I give you Cut the long story short. After I give them what that couple has given me, I can't say there is nobody yet in the ministry. Of course, I don't mean instruments. I mean I have, and I have sons. God has given me a son. So I don't know my sons here. And we all like him, Baje. You know, they bless my life. They bless me. It's not a, anything. I don't mean in the ministry. I mean external ministry. Nobody honors me. The car I give to my father, the Benz, he was the one that gave me. All of a sudden, their destiny opened up. Recently, he gave me lands, seven plots, or eight or so, for me, two for me, two for my wife, and one for each of my children. But before they could give me, I gave them. Back to what I was saying. Do you like it? I Am I your daddy? I give you. I give you the billions. I give you. I give you. I give you. Let me just give you one more so that I can just stop this meeting. <laughs> it's seven Sundays, right? Now, the other thing I'm hearing, are you there? In my spirit, beyond that, if you like it, you can have it. He said, by this time next year, 
a fine floor shall be sold for a shekel and two seers of barley at the gate of Samaria. But an officer on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Look, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, could this thing be? And he said, in fact, you will see it, but you will not eat of it. Let me wrap up my story. Avoid skeptical people. Avoid anybody that does not believe in your prophecy and your prophet is a person to avoid. Anybody that does not believe in your prophecy and your prophet is a person to avoid. Because if you occupy the room of a skeptic, and my time is up, honey, please come, my time is up. If you occupy the room, the man to us is about to leave. If you occupy the room of a skeptic, you will see it, but you will not partake of it. It is called the cause of skepticism. The cause of skepticism. Let me share a secret with you. I had many people around me. I still have many people around me. But many of them, when I was saying it, they did not believe. So today, they are seeing it, but they are not a part of it. That will not be you. So avoid skeptics. Blessed is the man that does not stand in the counsel of the ungodly, nor in the seat of the scornful, nor in the seat of sinners. Who have sinners? Anybody that, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, any, even your workplace, anybody that does not believe in prophecy, avoid them. Just cut off the relationship. Oh, you don't believe in prophecy? You don't believe that a person can wake up a thousandaire and be a millionaire in 24 hours? I can't be your friend. Now, I will tell you the story of one man of God. See, 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 see. Let me say some things here. The thing I'm releasing on you is not for those that saved their first million. Let me mention the man of God. But for him, you now, let me talk about Fatou. He's going to come to us soon. When we were young, he was young, I was young. In the Lorry days, I was with him in the hotel. You see, it is according to your faith, be it unto you. If you go to believe one kind of struggle life, now you know. He said he was asking the man of God, Sir, I know you are doing well in me, sir. How did you make your first million? He said, the man of God said, Ah, I saved it. I saved it. I can never forget. The other father said to me, Thank you, sir. He said to me, I don't want that one. Say, I don't want that one. <laughs> I don't want that one. You will save your pension for 40 years. Is that the one you want? <laughs> Say, I don't want that one. I'm quoting Biodu Fatibu. I'm quoting the Biodu Fatibu of the 20s. He was in his 20s. I was in my 20s. He said to me, maybe a senior 20s, I was my lesser 20s. He said to me, I said, thank you, sir. I honored him. I sold my seat and I disappeared. I don't want that one. He said, Pastor DG, I want something supernatural. Then he used the word I'd never heard before. I want something supralunar. Supralunar. And you know what? You've got a young man now. According to his faith, it has been unto him. Anybody that does not believe in your prophecy or your prophet is not somebody to associate with. Learn from me. I don't associate with chickens. If you don't believe in the supernatural, you don't believe that things can happen, you don't believe that we can be raising the buildings at the Center Convention Center without stressing any member, better give to that project too, because whether you give or not, it will be done. Yes. Do you understand the grace we carry? We carry a no-nonsense grace. It will be done. 
ale ita so lana ti se e ita so le ni ma sese let me prophesy i will draw the wrong people from around you every wrong influence in the name of the lord jesus so i said oh, my time is off i didn't come to teach but i came to tell you by this time tomorrow at this time tomorrow and you are left to decide what the tomorrow will be for you you can make your tomorrow tomorrow that's 24 hours you know tomorrow never ends you can make your tomorrow next month you know you can make your tomorrow the next hour it's according to your faith and i speak over you this scripture by this time tomorrow a sea of iron flour stretch your hands shall be sold for a shekel and two seers of barley for a shekel at the gate of samaria lift up your hands and believe you receive it i receive it i receive it tell your angels to go and bring it right now so you start checking your bank account immediately i know they wait when i reach out i they check immediately just check your bank account you check your email you go and check that thing you sent to uk you start checking that's what people the people who are fit check they check by this time tomorrow shall be done